Good evening, boys and girls. Our story tonight is The Bugliest Bug by Carol Diggory Shields. Do you have six legs? Do you wiggle or crawl? Could you be the bugliest bug of them all? A contest for insects. News buzzed through the air. Bugs slithered and swarmed from here and from there. Down by the pond, young damselfly Dilly said, I'm a plain bug, neither clever nor frilly. But while I won't win, I would still like to see who the bugliest bug turns out to be. Fireflies lit up the stage with their lights. Glowworms glowed softly, a beautiful sight. A lacy white curtain hung from the trees and billowed and swayed in the warm evening breeze. The clearing was humming with bugs of all sizes, flittery, jittery, hoping for prizes. There were more bugs than Dilly could ever have dreamed, from tiny noceums to fat termite queens. Some had great pinchers, some had proud horns, some looked like branches or flowers or thorns. Dilly crept closer as the biggest judge grinned. Sweet little bugs, let our contest begin. How odd, Dilly thought. Those judges have wings that are tied to their backs with glossomer strings. Beetles clacked and whirligigs whirled. Crickets sang solos and swallow tails twirled. A ladybug curtsied, tumble wig, tumble bugs flipped. The judges applauded, then licked their lips. Hmm. Why would they be licking their lips? The judges looked shifty, so Dilly kept squinting. Then, sure enough, she spied their flangs, fangs glinting. She yelled, we've been flim-flammed, bamboozled, distracted. Those judges aren't insects, she cried. They're arachnids. Do you know what arachnids means? Spiders. The big just judge hissed softly. Too late for you all. It's curtain time now, and it started to fall. Folks, he continued, we liked all your acts, but we think we will like you much better as snacks. The bugs froze in fear. It looked like the end.
But Dilly thought quickly and shouted out, Friends, there's only way, one way to get out of this mess. Each insect must do what each insect does best. So, charge, yelled a squadron of swift soldier flies and bombarded, bombardi, <laughs> easy to say, bombardier beetles took to the skies. Dilly whirled up through a hole in the net. It's working, it's working. We'll beat those creeps yet. Bombardier. Some, some words just trip me up. The army ants marched and the mantises prayed. Keep fighting, called Dilly, and don't be afraid. Then the stink bugs united, gave off their worst smells. P.U., we give up, the spiders all yelled. They scuttled away. Hurrah, cried the bugs, giving high sixes and fuzzy warm hugs. The cicada piped up. It's time for a speech. Attention, my friends, he said with a screech. The contest is over and we have a winner. Without this young damsel, we'd all be dinner. She might be young and she might be small, but Dilly's the bugliest bug of us all. The end. Oh, and I get an announcement right at the end here. All righty. So, yay for Dilly. She saved the day. In the meantime, good night, sleep tight, and happy dreams. Bye now.